Your door. What do you mean your door? Like, who are you? What are you doing here? Uh, okay, are you normal? I don't understand. You're uh, banging my door and you're asking me why I'm in my house. Wait, wait a minute. Relax. What do you mean am I normal? What do you mean relax? Are you mad? Are, are you insane? Are you, are you are you... Corporate beggar, that's what you are. Hey, 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 look. Hey, what, what's your tone? Okay? Uh, what what are you, you doing here? How did you get here? What? What's look going this, on? Look at this psychopath. Are you good? My friend, get out of this place, please, before I lose my mind. Get out, corporate beggar like you. Look at this thing. Asking me why I'm in my house. Your house? Since when did... There must be something wrong with you. There's hey. something obviously wrong hey, with hey, you. Hey, 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 I'm about to lose get it. Out of this I'm place. gonna lose it in get a out. second. Lose what what do you mean? Get hey! Out. Hey! Ah. Uh. What's going Hey! What's going on here? In my house. Hey! Hello? Andy? Good morning to you too. Now listen, the money is not going to be so good if you don't get to my house right now. I'm standing right in front of my door, locked out of my own house by God knows who. And I know only you have access to what the, what the hell is going on here. Now, get your ass to my house before I burn this place down now! Get here! What nonsense is this? It was urgent. Yeah, you're damn right it's urgent. But Andy, what, what is going on? What do you mean what's going no, on? No, don't tell me it's what I think it is, okay? I got back a few hours ago, put my key at the door, tried to get into my house, and my door wouldn't open. Some ingrate opens my door, some twat, all right? Opens the door and started raining insults on me, asking me why I'm in front of her door, Calling me a corporate beggar and asking me to leave. Uh, bro, I'm sorry. What? Uh, I can't believe she insulted you. That's the girl I got you. You said you wanted somebody to come and share the house with you. That the house was too big. So I got you a pretty young lady. You did what? I got you a pretty young lady. <sighs> Andy. What? Andy, why? Why would you have a lady in my house as a roommate? What happened to all the men? And you know how I feel about women. Oh, I didn't know you were gender sensitive about who will live with you. Oh, you've always been open minded, so how is that a problem? Why? You... So, this mad person is, uh, is who, who, who you got for me? Andy! You know what? Get, just get her to open my door before I lose my mind. Sandra, come on, open this door! Sandra, what is wrong with you now? <laughs> Yo, what's this now? Andy, thank God you're here. Who's this mad idiot? Sandra, can you stop what? this madness? Wait, 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 wait. Do you hear her? Bro, she just called me an idiot. In front of my own house. Just calm down, please. In front of my house, eh? My house! What is wrong with you? What is wrong with you? Who's that madman, huh? Sandra, this person you're calling me a madman is the owner of the house, okay? He's my friend who's like a big brother to me and you just insulted him. Well, I do not know the owner of the house. Sandra, you've been in this house for two days. Haven't you seen his picture on the wall? Well, maybe he's photogenic because it doesn't look good in person. <laughs> uh, but still, that's what just... What's funny? Why is this one laughing? 
What is wrong with you? But still, that's no justification for you to insult him. Come on! You've been in this house for two days now. It could have been anybody knocking on the door. It could have been a guest or maybe somebody looking for the real owner of the house. Oh, really? Don't be rude to people. I was having a peaceful nap. And this man started banging the door like he wanted to break down the door. Huh? See, I'm not in the mood though. Nobody should just piss me off. You know you should actually be the one calming down right now. You should calm down because he's actually angry. He's upset. Well, I did not pay rent to make him happy, okay? If he's upset, you're his friend. Go apologize to him. Don't talk to me about it, please. Wow. It's like that, huh? It's like that, Sandra. I beg. It's like that. Anyway, please don't cause any more trouble. I beg. I'll go upstairs and I'll talk to him. Don't be mad, Percy. No manners. Calm down, Joe. Don't tell me to calm down, I beg. Talk to your friend or whatever. Mad person. Rubbish. Piss me off this morning. Sorry about what you face right now. I had no idea that Sandra could be that ugly. No, it's not Sandra's fault or whatever the hell you call her name. It's your fault, Andy. Why would you bring me a girl? Huh? Knowing exactly what I've been through. And I have to be dealing with some village masquerade. Bro, we live in perilous times. You must understand that she didn't know you. And she was worried about the confidence with which you knocked on the door. Well, you should have showed her a picture of the owner of the house. Assuming she was stupid enough not to see the pictures on the wall. I did. I did! Uh, she said something about you being photogenic and not looking quite as good in real life as you look in pictures. The hell? Was this supposed to be a compliment or an insult? Well, I don't know. I'm only reporting what she said. Or her excuse for not having recognized you. I had a long day, man. A heck of a long day. All I wanted to do was come home, eat, rest. Only for this girl. To mess up everything for you. I know. I'm sorry, man. But I, I have to go to work. Thanks to you guys, I have to come here first. But I'll see you in the evening, yeah? Thanks. Alright. Um, bro, I beg, just take it easy. You know she's a girl, so no flexing of muscles, I beg. You need to talk to her. Alright? Speak to her because I will only reciprocate any energy given to me. Okay. But I beg, now woman should be you. I beg, I beg. No flexing of muscles though, I beg. What's your problem? Is this one okay? Are you okay? Are you okay? Is there a problem? Something wrong? Where's my phone? Say something. Stop. house right now. It's urgent. I don't know. Something with your friend. Just come to the house. All right. Thank you. Hello. Are you okay? Yo, this is the second time I'm coming here today. What's wrong now? I don't know. 
I don't know, I was in the kitchen cooking and then he came downstairs. He even threw the food I was cooking away. Only for him to come into the living room, he was struggling with one evil and then look at him. I didn't touch him, I swear, I didn't touch him at all. Was it so bad? Were you smoking or something? No, I was trying to fry onion and pepper. Oh, come, 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 just help me. Let's, let's take him upstairs to the room. Which room? Let's take him to the hospital. He found the inhaler himself, right? Mm -hmm. And he took it by himself. Yes. Yeah, so just help me. It'll be okay. Just let's just take him to rest properly. Come. He's not moving. Let me show you. Come and help me. Ah. So what's going on? He just needs to sleep. When he wakes up, he'll be okay. It's not about him. Be okay. What is going on? We'll talk downstairs. Come on. So, what's the way forward? If you know what an inhaler is, then you should understand that he's asthmatic. He was reacting to whatever it was you were cooking. You almost killed him. Wait, 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 hold it there. What do you mean I almost killed him? I don't get it. You didn't tell me I was living with someone with a, with a health condition. You should have told me I'm living with someone who is almost... Almost what? Almost... You know what I'm talking about. I mean, he can just fall anytime and... Hey, hey, stop saying stuff like that. Stop saying things like that. Is it because I didn't ask about what you have? You probably have epilepsy or some momentary madness for all I care. Hey, please do not even insult me. Well, you just insulted my friend. I told you he's like a brother to me. He didn't give himself asthma now, did he? I understand. I'm only angry because you didn't tell me. Tell me this thing so I know my do's and don'ts. It's only normal you tell me things. Well, I guess it's normal that you would also tell me. Huh? Listen, we didn't have that conversation because I expected that when you get here, you guys will learn more about each other, learn to live in peace and harmony as housemates. But on the contrary, you came here bringing havoc and calamity, just causing wahala everywhere. What kind of thing is that? He hasn't had an asthma attack in a long time. He takes care of himself very well. Please, don't put it on me. Because I was cooking. I wasn't doing anything wrong. Tell me this thing so I know when to run and when to stand. And you can start running now. Start running before fly fest you. Start running before fly get out. Anyway, that's not the point. I'll be leaving soon. I don't know. What are we going to do with him? Because I'm going out. Don't go out if you want to, I beg. You're sure he won't have another attack? Go, go. He's fine. He just needs to sleep when he wakes up. I don't want problems, though. Before they say somebody died in my house, die you will die seconds. Don't test me on me. I'll, I'll finish you. I have bad mouth. Why are you wishing death upon somebody? Anyway, let's put it in writing. Oh, it's not only writing. I'll send you email or fax. Rubbish. You think this is funny, right? You think this is a joke? Huh? Okay, first of all, he throws my food away. Now you want to add to it. I don't blame you. Sure his wife to leave this guy like this. I don't want problems or before they say somebody died in my house. Hi. Hi. Yeah, what's up? Um, I know I'm supposed to be out in like 30 minutes, but something urgent came up. I know, I know. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Sorry for the inconvenience. But can we just reschedule? No, this is really important. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. All right. Thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, bye. <sighs> this guy. Oh, 
What's that? What's that? Oh. So it is you. You are the reason for all this. Reason for what? Jesus. Anybody, you dumped yourself, okay? And you have no reason showing up in my house, finding someone you have no idea who she is. I don't care. I don't care, Mickey. As long as she said I'm not going to be in your life, no woman will be found around you or else. Me, Natasha. Oh, I will deal with you. Really? Well, fine. Let's see how far you go with that. Yes. And thank God you met her. All right? Because yes, she is the reason I dumped your silly ass. And you want to know something else? She's the kind of woman you can never be in your life. Now get the hell out of my compound before I call the police on you. Go wherever you want to call. I am not going anywhere. Natasha, leave my compound. I'm not going anywhere. Leave my compound Just now. Just leave me alone. I'm not going anywhere. Leave my compound now. What was that for? Eh? What kind of a house did I move into? First, it was you this morning that showed up on my doorstep, giving me a heart attack. Now, that, that mad girlfriend of yours. Hey, hey, look. Easy, okay? I apologize for whatever happened. All right? But that doesn't give you the right to talk to me anyhow. This is my house. You apologize? Really? That's all you have to say? Your mad girlfriend just attacked me. Listen. I understand you have health and anger issues, but I don't know why a mad person will date another mad person. Did you see other girls? Wait, wait, who are you? Who do you think you are? Who are you to tell me who to date or who not to date? And just so you know, talking about mental health issues, you're part of that family. Don't even insult me. I'm just telling you that. You've been insulting me ever since I met you. In my house. And you're over here talking rubbish. You girls are just a bunch of idiots. My sight. You have Rocco because I will beat you eh, the way I will beat you. I will beat you the way I beat your girlfriend. You are lucky today. I'm, I'm in a good mood for you. Rubbish. A stupid question. Well, everything about you has been stupid since morning, so go ahead. Please don't insult me. All right, sorry. Go ahead. Hmm. What happened between you and your girlfriend? I mean, I know she's not normal, she's mad. Why would you date someone like that? First, and secondly, what happened? Do you have a relationship? So why would I want to discuss my relationship with someone who doesn't even have one? 
Did I do anything wrong by asking? Mind your business, okay? When I share a house, that doesn't mean we're mates. I'm your landlord, respect that. Really? Anyway, both of you dragged me into it because I had to fight, so you owe me an explanation. I don't owe you shit. Look, I've had enough all day, all right? So please. Sandra Obuna. Now does that affect the price of fuel? Anyway, I feel we share the same house, so we should at least know each other's name. Michael Davis, Mickey for short. Does that solve the problem? You and your girlfriend, I don't even know who is worse. Two crazy people, two mad fellows, weird combination. Look, I've had enough. Respect yourself. Mm. I keep telling you. Beg. No, just take your food out. No, you eat your food or choke on it. If you're tired, get out of this place now. Uh -uh. Who is this one? Why are you shining your eyes? You're going to make me kick you out. Try it now. Hey, it's my house. Put your house. You this broke man. If you have that much money, why did you get someone else to share your apartment with you? Really? Broke man. How much did you pay for it? <laughs> okay, give me back now. It's not your fault, it's Andy's fault. Mm. Okay? Please get out. Nonsense. Nonsense too. You're an ingrate. You're an idiot. Very ugly thing. Very stupid person. Look at this one calling somebody ugly. Rubbish. Idiot. It's not your fault. I better get out. You're gonna choke on that food in you a second. You choke. You choke. Keep, keep running your mouth. You're gonna be homeless before you know it. You can't do anything. Okay. Broke man. I will kick you out. You need me more than I need you. I need you. You need me. I need you. You need my money. Please God. shift. Okay. Ugly monkey. Idiot. You mean all this happened in the space of one day? My sister, it is crazy, honestly speaking. Like, this minute I'm losing my mind. I'm running mad. And the next minute, I... <laughs> I was at crossroads. Honestly, it was just too much drama. But I was worried, though, for real. But he doesn't look like an asthmatic patient to me. How do they look? Are they not normal human beings? Or he's supposed to have it on his forehead that he's an asthmatic patient? No, not that. I mean, he's too handsome for that. <laughs> Girl, are you tripping? When I walked through that door, he opened the door for me. Ah. So am I not supposed to notice the one that opened the door for me? I don't know. Why are you not telling me? Is that a topic for discussion? <laughs> Look, whatever it is we're discussing, I can't even remember. But whatever it is, <laughs> there's nothing wrong with that guy. Mm. Hmm? I mean, the house is fine. So what? Everybody comes with their own baggage. Don't forget. Even you have your own baggage. Well, I'm not disputing that, but you're not going to use your own spoil and another person own. It's unfair. Look, I understand. But I'm sure the guy didn't ask his girl to come here and fight you. Besides, he apologized already. Wait, wait a minute. What is going on? I don't get it. Are we still friends? Because since you came here, you've been taking sides with that, that, that guy. <laughs> Look. You don't have to make everything about you, Sandra. Okay. I am just speaking the truth here. Mm -hmm. I believe if you guys relax, you'll be able to live well together. Mm? Mm. He's a nice guy. Give it to him. Mm? Mm. It's just one of those bad days. I believe you guys just started off on the wrong foot, but you can fix it. Yeah, no problems now. We can fix it. Good morning, mm. good morning. Day your day, I day my day. We'll fix it. Eh? Yeah, something like that. I mean, you can't be enemy with your landlord. He's not my landlord, please. Correct yourself. He's my flatmate, not landlord. Oh, uh, babe, whether you like it or not, he owns this place. So that makes him your landlord. No this and no peace. Whatever. Yeah. Look, there is nothing to talk about, okay? I made myself clear. So you need to stop calling me. Stop bothering me. Yes. Is that not Mickey's voice? <sighs> Welcome to my world. Just like I said, I'm done, Natasha. 
I'm done. I don't want to have anything to do with you again. Yes. Stay in your lane. All right? I, I want nothing to do with anything that has to do with you. I'm done. Yes. Honestly, I don't even know why I paid for this kind of house. It's one thing or the other. It's either he's fighting, he's shouting. No privacy. You know what? What is your problem? Why are you shouting like an animal? Huh? What is what? I'm having a conversation with my friend and you're just disturbing. If you want to talk to your girlfriend, go upstairs, lock yourself up and have that conversation. Wait a minute, Sandra, whatever the hell your name is. Are you alright? Are you mad? Are you insane? Huh? Wait, wait, are you actually forgetting who the owner of this house is? Your tenant's here. You don't talk to me like that. Now, if you want to talk to your friend and you feel disturbed, you get the hell out. What the hell is wrong with you? Uh, really? Yes. Is that all you have to say? You know what? I don't even have your time. Why am I stressing myself? You're a mad person. A mad person dating another mad person. What do you expect? I am a mad person. Yes, it's you. No, you're insane. You are stupid. And you're going to push me to do what I don't want to do. Do it. You know what? It's not your fault. Huh? It's Andy's fault. That's why you're in my house. Nonsense. All you women are just a bunch of bunch of ingrates. Delusional people. You too. See? See what you cost? Huh? My beautiful eggs are now burnt. See? I don't eat burnt eggs. Go ahead and eat it and choke on it. Nonsense. Nonsense. Your father. Your mother. Get out. It's yours. Animal. It's your yours. father. Your, your own mother. Hey, what are you doing? What does it look like? I'm eating. You asked me to take it, right? So I'm eating it. I asked you to take it so you're eating burnt eggs. And what is wrong with that? I should be asking you. You should be asking me what? Asking me why I'm eating burnt eggs. Yes, why are you eating burnt eggs? <laughs> I'm eating it because I want to. I like it. That's why I'm eating it. Burnt eggs? Yes. Who does that? I do. Okay. Well, it's obvious. I get it. The more reason why your life is the way it is, burn. Hey, please, don't even try to don't insult me. Oh. So if I ask you to jump into burning flames, you'll do exactly just that. Listen, I'm eating this egg because I love it, okay? I don't owe you an explanation or apology. If you don't like it, get out from this place. Go and do something else. I'm not the cause of your problem. I'm not the one that broke up with you. Oh. I didn't do i never even date someone like you. Look at this one. I'm better than your girlfriend. That mad woman that has a few loose screws. Oh, really? And you are complete, yeah? Huh? Yours is complete. Well, at least she has some screw losers. Yours is not only loose, it's lost. Nonsense. Hi. Eating burnt eggs. Hi. It's not your fault. It's not your fault. I don't have your time. I don't want to choke on this meal. I don't have your time. Madman. I eat your burnt eggs. I mean, get out. Shut up your smelly mouth. Nonsense. Nonsense. That's why you look burnt insane. Animal. Zombie. You wonder why you are so burnt. Bro, I'm shocked. That girl has no shame. Natasha. <laughs> After everything she did. After all that. You know, I'm still paying some debts that I took on her behalf, right? And now she wants to walk her way back into my life like I'm a doormat. It's, I, don't, uh, I don't know. I swear, some girls really have guts. She's lucky you're not a woman beater because she actually deserves some good beating. So after cheating on you, she feels like she can just walk back into your life whenever she pleases. What kind of entitlement is that? Bro, you should have allowed Sandra to teach her a big lesson. No, Sandra, no, that's a different case right there. Now, I don't know where to place her, but I gotta be honest. Thank God she gave Natasha the beating of her life before I separated mm. But I don't know where you find these people, Sha. <laughs> well, I don't understand. What, what do you mean? You asked for help, but I delivered. So how is that a problem? I'm not saying it's a problem. I'm just saying 
I don't know where you get them from. And you know, when you meet people, you need to evaluate them well before you draw them closer to yourself. Tell you, man, that's Sandra. She's a time bomb. She's going to explode at any point. And what makes you think that after all you've been through, you're not a time bomb waiting to, to explode? Huh? She'll probably be saying the same thing about you. Oh, okay. <sighs> but on a more serious note, I think you should actually involve the police. Bro, get a restraining order because that girl, Natasha, she's crazy. One day she'll do something crazy that will shock all of us. I'm telling you. No doubt. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. The minute she tries something funny, I involve the police. Better. I mean, I can't kill myself. Ha, huh, no man. Some people should get mine, I swear. Hey. But anyway, enough of the women sh shenanigans or whatever. What's up with the business when I tell you? How far? Oh yeah, I, I called those guys already. I spoke to them. So they told us to like, give them two days. Two days? Yeah. Money go drop. <laughs> money go drop. <laughs> that might too like money. <laughs> Cheers to that. Cheers to that. <laughs> I need that money, boy. Welcome, love. Natasha. What are, what are you doing here? How did you get in my room? How did you get in my house? Come on. I have my keys, right? Yeah, but I thought I took your keys from you after we broke up. I can't just have a key. I have more than one keys. Of course, you should know me by now, baby. Wait, wait, wait. wait. You, you, you make copies of my key? What exactly do you want? You this woman, what, what do you want from me? Oh, calm down, Mickey. What does it look like? I came to see my man. You what? Do you have a screw loose? What part of we're not together anymore don't you understand? I am not your man. Now get out of my house. Get out. Why? Why would I get out? Look at me. Don't you miss me? Like... Don't you miss all of this? What I miss? I miss my peace. Something I lost the day I set eyes on you. Get the hell out of my house! Get out! Get out before I do something I'm gonna regret! Now! Don't make me out. So, so you're sending me away because of this girl, eh? Yes. See this girl? She'll forever be more important than you can ever be. Now get out of my house. Get out. Natasha, so don't, don't start. Me. Don't don't make me. Mickey, now let me talk to you now. Mickey, Mickey. Hey, if you have nothing sensible to say to that, stay in your place. You hear me? Nonsense. All you girls are a bunch of twats.
Hey. Good morning. Good morning. Made you coffee? Okay, you just start with you. Thank you. I suppose you brought the duvet and pillow too. Mm -mm. Andy came, went to your room, got the duvet and covered you up. Of course I bought it. Please, let's not fight this morning, okay? Please. Why are you doing this to yourself? Did she hurt you that much? Isn't that what you women do? Hurt people? Huh? <sighs> oh, my head hurts. God. Sorry. It's Saturday, so you can rest all day. Yeah. Anyway, I want to make breakfast. Can I have some? As long as it's not burnt eggs. <laughs> I'm out to very sharp of you. Want to share? Share what? What happened between you and your girlfriend? I mean, I can tell she really hurt you. Why do you keep bothering yourself with this? Why do you keep insisting? Because, I mean, we learn every day, you know? And to say a problem shared is half solved. All right, since you insist, I loved her. I really, really loved that girl. I would have done anything for her, you know? Mm. Heck, I'm a one woman man. I don't jump from woman to woman. So whenever I love, I love deep. I invest a lot in my relationships. So if I do get hurt, it also cuts deeper. It all happened the day before the wedding. We almost got married. Oh. Yeah, when I say we almost got married, I mean we were about to walk the aisle. Wow. And everything just, all hell went loose. Day before the wedding. I, I had a bachelor's party and she decided she wanted a spin test party as well. So I had a few of my friends together, you know, had some fun. And um, at some point I figured I didn't want to stay at my party too late. You know, the <laughs> wedding was the next day. So I called it short and then I started to call her phone to make sure she was all right. She wouldn't pick up, so I got worried. And then I decided to, you know, breeze through her party to make sure everything was fine. Got to the party, Natasha wasn't there. I was told she left early. So that got me even more worried, you know. And then the fact that I kept calling her phone and she wouldn't pick up. I mean, what should I, what was I supposed to do? I was losing my mind. So I decided to go to her house, check up on her, you know. <laughs> what happened? I had the biggest shocking of my life. <laughs> what, did you, what did you see? Or what happened? Natasha was sleeping with another man. Oh. oh. What? She was in bed with another man. You don't say. Just now, I wish that wasn't the case, but... Fortunately, it was. The worst part about it is she had no remorse. She literally told me that she did it because she just wanted a one night stand because she was going to spend the rest of her life with me and sleep with me for the rest of her life. So, <laughs> Oh, goodness. This is unbelievable. I'm, I'm, I'm so sorry. <laughs> the most hilarious situation ever. You know, 
And that was it, I broke it off. How can I spend the rest of my life with such a woman? She's a mad person. Sorry to say. She's delusional. <laughs> now you agree with me. <laughs> anyway, that's my story. What's yours? Why are you here? Why are you in my house? Why are you giving me problems? <laughs> wow. <laughs> anyway, I, I got transferred. I was happy about it because I wanted to relocate so badly and my friend is here. Mm. But my company didn't have an accommodation for me, so I had to sort myself. The reason mm. I'm in your house. Mm, you had no girlfriends to share uh, well, a house with? Why a man? <laughs> my friend shares her apartment with someone else and I like my space, like my room to myself, so. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Explains why we're here. So no relationships, no man. <laughs> Focusing on myself, my career, and you know, basically, yeah, that's just it. <laughs> of course. <laughs> well, I'm glad we were able to have a conversation. And for that fact, maybe we can be friends and try to be peaceful. What do you think? Yeah, I'll try. Okay, well, to <laughs> friends. To friends. All right. Okay, can I eat my food now? Yes, you can eat your food. At least I know the story <laughs> of your mad. <laughs> Sorry. You just don't quit, do you? <laughs> I'll change tomorrow. <laughs> All right. Yeah, yeah. The meat. Oh my god, oh my god, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Sorry, I almost forgot. I'm on my way, I'm on my way. Yeah, just handle things for me, okay? Please, I'm on my way. Alright? No, I'm on my way. Jesus Christ. Oh my god. Oh my god. Wow. <laughs> Enjoy, darling. Well, you just saved me some trouble, baby. I'm even late. Oh, yeah? Well, if you're running late, why don't you book a cab? That's what I've been trying to do, but there's no driver close by. Okay, well, I guess maybe you could take my car. Take your car? Yeah. Are you not going to work? Well, I am, but I own my company, so I could get there whenever I want to. No, I don't feel good about it. Well, is it about feeling good, or is it about your meeting that you're running late for? Don't worry. I can have Andy pick me up and drop me off if I need to. Run along. Thank you. I owe you one. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.
it has been you. Eh? And you guys are claiming flatmate, whatever, whatever. You're even driving his car. That means he went out without his car. Listen, I do not know what this is. But whatever it is, I'm not interested. Go on, back there! I'm sorry, you. Ah! 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 Truly, I, I am sorry. I mean, I've gotten a restraining order against her, okay? So she will never, ever come to this compound or anywhere close to you. She should not even try it. Because if she does, what I did to her will be little compared to what I would do to her. Wait, wait, but if I may ask now, who else was involved in the fight? I don't understand. Yeah, because the way I saw her face and her body it felt like she was beaten up by a gang of people. <laughs> I don't want to believe that was just you. <laughs> I say they leave me less, less of it. <laughs> well, you did that. <laughs> mm. Well, if you did that to her, then me getting a restraining order was a waste of time because with that kind of beating, Natasha will never come close to you again. Hmm. If she tries it, girls like that make other girls look, look bad and stupid. Oh. How are you fighting over a man and then you're cheating on him? Who does that? Oh, well, Natasha does that. Ha! She's lucky. Anyways. Now you know I can fight, so if you try anything, you can see uh, anyhow. No, no, I'm in my best behavior. <laughs> but anyway, thank you for all you've done, okay? Mm -hmm. Let me change, okay? Okay. <laughs> oh. So she did that for you, then? What do you mean she did that for me? Now, why are you making it sound like I paid her as a towel to beat up Natasha? Yeah, no, you didn't pay her, but we're talking about the same thing, right? She literally beat up Natasha on your account. Yeah, see, all I'm saying is the girl seems different, okay? She sounds like a cool person. She's not as bad as she appeared from the beginning. That's all I'm saying. Wait, are you being serious right now? Wait, I mean, no, no, no. See, whatever it is that's going on in your Chicken brain is not what I'm talking about, okay? Stop insinuating what I'm not saying, all right? All I'm saying is she's a cool girl. I mean, she knows how to take care of someone, if you know what I mean. No, I don't know what you mean, bro. You're beating about the bush. Just hit the nail on the head. Come on. Honey, fuck you. You're not serious, okay? Whatever it is, I don't know what you're talking about. All I'm saying is I like the girl and I respect her. That's it. And you're sure? Out of my office. <laughs> Come on, bro. <laughs> Stop it, okay? Wow. She's a cool girl. Mm. Uh -uh. <laughs> What's here for? Find Kennedy your village? <laughs> <laughs> Sandra, hmm? is it me or you're liking this guy? What do you mean by that? <laughs> if I remember correctly, this was a guy you couldn't stand before. But all of a sudden, here you are hurrying to make sure food is ready before he gets back. Acting like a typical housewife. Wow. Oh my God. Babes, are you kidding me? <laughs> this guy gave me his car to drive to work. Mind you, he used the car the entire day. Isn't that enough nice gesture to at least give him a treat from time to time? Okay, I understand. But don't you think the way you're going about it, that you're overdoing it? And do you have a problem with that? No. I don't have a problem with you. In fact, I don't even have a problem with the guy. Mm. Like I told you, Ella is a nice guy. But I just want you to be intentional in whatever you're doing. <laughs> Babe, you know me. I'm very intentional. When I want something, I go for it and maintain it. When I don't want it, I don't want it. So I don't think I'm overdoing anything. <sighs> okay. I just want to make sure that my friend is fine. Mm. Mm? <laughs> I mean, if you like this guy, it's okay. I just hope he likes you back. But has it gotten over his past? I'm just asking because if he hasn't, 
then you just might hit a brick wall. <laughs> Girl, you're faster than your shadow. Why does it feel like you're planning my wedding already? I don't understand. Girl, ha, huh? I can't wait. <laughs> I really cannot wait for that day. Hey. You go. Go and get married. Please. Ah, see on that day, I will pound PM for you. See this I'll one. Pound Special PM. advisor. <laughs> In the mod. Cook, housewife. Oh, yes, that was zero. No problem. I'll catch you. Honey, I feel like she's, you know, she's really been there for me. She's helped me a lot, and it's only fair that I show my appreciation. You know what I mean? Yeah, I was actually thinking about the same thing. You know, I want her to do something exceptional for her. Maybe like a gift. A gift? Yeah. Yeah, but I hardly know the girl to even know what she likes. <laughs> she's not your regular girl. So, how do you want to go about it? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. You know what? How about you look her up on social media? I mean, these days people put their lives out there, so you should be able to see her likes and her dislikes. Well, that's sensible. That's about the most sensible thing you've said since you stepped into my office. Wow, bro, for real? For real? Yeah. Man, I don't blame you. <laughs> well, let's look her up. Voila! What? Ah, 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 it looks like we're going to have a party. A party, yeah. <laughs> oh, what's going on? Look at that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you, happy birthday! Oh. <laughs> Thank you, it's so beautiful. Faith! Hey, dear That? I don't know. I don't know. I don't understand. I thought I thought it was her birthday, right? But are you sure? Or could it have been that she posted the wrong birthday on the internet? Yeah, but even at that, I was just trying to do something nice. She didn't Mark, react this way. Clearly, you have done something wrong, terribly wrong. Give me a minute. Let me, let me go. Yeah, go, 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 go. Sandra. Sandra, it's me, Mickey. Please open up. Let's talk. We have to talk. Come on, Sandra. Whatever it is, at least you can talk to me. Open up. Let's talk. Sandra, please open the door and talk to me, please.
Sandra. How's she? Did she say anything? She's not responding. She didn't open her door. Man, there's something seriously wrong with that girl, though. I just hope she hasn't done something crazy to herself. Well, I hope not. I mean, this is totally weird. I, I don't even know what to say or what to think. Um, okay, now here's what you're going to do. Just give her some time. Whenever she comes out, then you can have a conversation with her and find out what the problem is. Meaning? Meaning I'm going now and I'll return in the morning. No, no, no. What if something happened? Come on, bro. Nothing can happen now. You're here. Just give her some time. When she comes out, you guys will talk. I'm, I'm not running. I'll come back. Just call me if you need anything. All right, fine. Just make sure your phone is available. Yeah, okay? sure. Sure. Trust. Trust. All right. Take care. Sandra, come on, open this door. Sandra, come on, you can't wallow in, in pity by yourself all alone. Oh. Sandra, come on, please. I thought we were friends. Okay, Sandra. Sandra, you're going to make me break this door down, okay? This is getting out of hand. I'm going to count to three. If you don't open it, I'll break the door down. One. Two. Three. Coffee? You're a big baby. Come, just come. It's okay, it's okay. It's okay. So just have your sit and I'll get you some coffee, okay? All right? Thank you. For who? Dave? Who's Dave? My ex. Oh. Okay, but you saw your ex and that got you so frightened. I mean, he's your ex, right? What's the force about that? Everything about that day scares me. I don't understand, Sandra. I don't get it. I killed him. Mm hmm <laughs> I wish you to. So when next am I seeing you? Mm-hmm. I'll just hang out or something. <laughs> Are you sure? Really? <laughs> what? 
Why are you missing me? Babe, Why are you missing me? Who are you missing me? Who are you missing me? Who are you missing me? I'll kill you! Give me my phone! Give me my phone! Give me my phone! Give me my phone! Look at you! Such a good. Oh, wait. Um, Hi. Hey. <laughs> what now? Why are you not scared? Huh? Oh. <laughs> hmm, maybe. Yeah. Thank you. For what? For cooking for us to sleep. You know what? I feel like I'm the luckiest woman in the world. Honey, I'm blessed to have you in my life. Mm -hmm. I love you. And I cannot wait to be your wife. Then marry me tomorrow. What about tonight? <laughs> okay, um, I was going to ask you. What are your plans for your birthday? No plans. Why? This is why you'll be out of town, so... Yeah, that's true. And I don't want to do anything without you. Are you sure? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Um, let me finish up, right? Okay, I'm not helping out, just so you know. No, you just go sit down and relax. Let me do this. I think I'll just watch you, that's better. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> hey, how did you get here? He had a heart attack. Yeah, well, was he sick? No, he wasn't. Well, did you at least take him to the hospital? I did. But it was too late. Oh. oh I get it. I, if I understand you clearly, that's why you were agitated about the birthday celebration. I decided never to celebrate my birthday again because it brings back, it brings back bad memories. You know, something happened the moment I walked in and saw you the case. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Sandra. <laughs> Please don't hurt me. Please don't hurt me. Please don't hurt me. Ah! 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 It was a very scary moment. I saw everything again. It flashed before my eyes. I'm sorry. It's all right. Cool. Cool. It's okay. It's okay. I don't, I don't think I can ever live a normal life. I don't think I can ever be celebrated. No, oh, don't say that. What happened is not your fault. Yeah, it happened. You're traumatized, yes. But you can't beat yourself up for it. 
It was my fault. I should have done something, anything. He returned because of my birthday. Else he would have been alive right now. Sandra, it would have happened anyway. If it was destined to happen, it would have happened. <laughs> you can't beat yourself up for that. It wasn't your fault. You can't continue punishing yourself. I loved him. It's okay. It's okay. Look, you can't. You can't keep doing this to yourself. You can't keep beating off yourself. You're gonna have to move on. Bad things happen. But you're a strong woman. Look at me. You're strong. Okay. You're gonna have to get over this. All right. I hope she doesn't feel like I took advantage of her. I didn't. I just did what I felt like doing at the moment. I'm sorry. I'm so, so sorry, Sandra. I'm sorry. this happen? This man will now start seeing me as a loose person. I feel so shameless. I feel so guilty. This shouldn't have happened. This shouldn't have happened. It just shouldn't have happened. How do I even look at him? How do I face him? I feel so embarrassed. Hi. Um, do you need anything? Um, no, no, no. I mean, yeah, yeah. What do you, what do you need? You. Look, I, I, um, I wanted to talk about last night. I, I know what happened was a bit awkward and it wasn't planned. It, I just. But but I want you to know that the experience was the best 
that I have had in such a long time. And oh, you, you mean you don't consider me loose? Loose? Why? No. Well, actually, I feel guilty. I feel I feel like I took advantage of you. Like you were vulnerable, and I, I'm sorry too. For what for? I don't know. Anything. <laughs> God. Okay. What a relief. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. So now what? Uh, we're... we're cool. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. We are. So okay. good. <laughs> Friends. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. All right. Well, okay. I feel better now. Wanna do it again? Oh, please, just go. <laughs> please, just go. <laughs> all right, all right. Okay. Go. All right, all right. Okay. I said all go. All right, I'm out. I'm out. Wait, 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 are you being serious right now? Sincerely. You mean, you want... Uh, look, sincerely speaking, for the first time in my life, I actually feel like I met someone who understands me, who feels exactly the way I feel, you know what I mean? And besides, she, she's a pure soul, you know? And I feel like God sent her to me for a reason. Ah, you know, I see my guy, don't fucking love. Wait, bro, is this love or something like you? What's, what's this? I don't know, man. Whatever you want to call it. But I know one thing. I'm loving it. <laughs> totally. Ah, ah. Mr. Lover Lover. <laughs> oh, bro, I, I'm, I'm happy for you. <laughs> I told you that guy was fine. I told you. <laughs> eh? But you failed to see it. Now. Without telling me, without discussing it with me, you have gone to sleep with him. <laughs> Sandra, this is cheating, no? This is cheating. Is this so mad? Hmm. What do you mean by cheating? So I'm supposed to seek your permission before <coughs> with him. <coughs> <coughs> well, really? <laughs> Just that um, I was hoping you wouldn't be able to do it, that you would fail so that I can make a move. But then you beat me to it. <laughs> See this girl, if I catch you close to him, uh -uh. Eh? you see this your leg at this bend, uh -uh. I will destroy him. Uh -uh. It's me, oh. Don't play with me, oh. Sarah, it's me. I go, not you. I go, hey, <laughs> because of this same guy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, girl, seriously, seriously. <clears throat> Do you think I'm being too forward? Uh, forward, okay. My dear, this is love. Love doesn't knock twice. Hmm? You are favored. Enjoy this. Make the most out of it. Just do whatever you want. Enjoy it. Hmm? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> That's 
Cancelo. Hey. Hey, morning. Good How morning. How was your night? Good, good. What are you doing? Um, cleaning the house, Mo. Why? What do you mean, why? I would have done it. No, come on, it doesn't matter who does it. I know, but... Um, well, it doesn't matter, all right? Okay, you know what, we'll do it together. Huh? All right, fair enough. <laughs> Let me get something coming. <sighs> Instead yeah, of you to say no. <laughs> <laughs> to you, uh, you know, I like to work. I know, that's why you like me. Can you sit over here? <laughs> oh my god. How are you? <sighs> I'm okay. How are you? Oh, that is better now that you're back. Oh, really? <laughs> I wanted to talk to you about something. Okay, yeah. what's going on? Well, um, <clears throat> look, I, I, I know things are happening pretty fast between us. But um, I mean, why wait when the heart knows exactly what it wants, right? What are you saying? All right. Look. Um, Sandra, look, I know I love you. And I know you love me too. And if truly we feel the same way about each other, then I feel like we need to put a title or a meaning to what we have going on. I don't understand. Look, I have never been sure about anyone coming into my life. I've never been sure about spending the rest of my life with any woman. So, I want to ask you to marry me. Oh my God. Are you sure? Yeah, please. Yes? I knew she liked you. Yes. <laughs> oh my god. I love you. I love you too. So you came into my life suddenly. <laughs> and without wasting time, you took over my house, <laughs> my life, and my heart. And we're going to keep fighting together. No, no, we're going to keep loving each other. <laughs> I love you. I love you, man. Now it's time to celebrate. Yes, so how is celebrating? Can I just sit right here and <laughs> allow me? I'll be right back. Okay. It is alright. 